Yeah, everybody, um, we're back with another video. So, I'm I'm gonna be showing guys how to undervolt your laptop very easily, and this will work really well. Um, so right now, as you can see, my temps are only 43, and when I put them in under load, look right here, I'm gonna put them in load. They're just rising up to 51, 52, and they're not gonna be that much. They're not damaged at all. They're running really well, and my temps are really good, and they're really nice. So what we're gonna do is quite simple is to just start off this turn speed shift on by clicking this option and then change this digit to zero when you have done that click on bd protoshop and uncheck this option click save click on fivr when you click fivr then what you want to do this is the undervolting place where you're going to undervolt it's very simple uh, now you want to go to the turbo ratio limits and you want to change each of these to 34 Then what you want to do is you want to go to the CPU core and you want to click on unlock adjustable voltage and you want to click on the 250 MV and For the safest route you can do it until 100 like 100 MV uh, And then you can just put it. Yeah, like You can just do that. But for me No, not here. So just for me like you can change this to 100 and put the CPU ca cache as 100 as well. Click on uh, OK, save voltages immediately. Click OK. And then you want to click on TS Bench and then click start. If you see any, like any errors, if you use TS Bench, that, that could ruin your system. So if you see even one error, then go back and make it lower. For me, as you can see, 169.9 is the safest one I can bring it to. And same to CPU cache. So you want to click on save voltage immediately and you want to keep lower, lowering this until you see any issues with it when you click on TS bench. So yeah, make sure it's save voltages immediately and make this this 34. Then click OK. Then you want to go here and click on TPL. When you click on TPL, what you want to do is you want to just copy these settings here. So go to power limits controls and click on this, this like click on this stick. Click on disable controls, make this 24, make this 24, make this 28. Make sure these settings are applied. Click on speed shift, then you want to keep this at minimum 8 and max 40, make this 34. The rest don't, don't mess with them or you could break your system. So 34. Click apply and you should be good. Now you should see a temperature decrease by a lot. Uh, this will actually enhance your like performance by a lot, meaning when you're in like end game situations in Fortnite or like other games, uh, temperatures will stay cool and you'll get the highest FPS possible. So yeah, that's how you get more uh, undervolting. Just for a more quick, easy step, if you want, if you want to run TS Bench, uh, no, no TS Bench. If you want to run Throttle Stop in, when you start your PC, this is this is just an optional thing. You don't need to do this, but for me, I will. Um, if if you don't want to do this, you need to go to your file where you installed it, and you wanna you wanna open it every time you open your system. So yeah, don't do that. But yeah. So keep in mind the link uh, on the what do you call it? The link on uh, Troll Stop is in the description. Uh, you also need WinRAR. Uh, just download that as well. Uh, this is the installation process. I'll just show you guys. Google Chrome. Click here. Uh, you want to click on what do you call it? Troll stop. When you click that, so if my mic sounds bad, I know it sounds bad. Click on Troll Sport 9.5. This is the latest version for 2022. Click on download. Click on the US version. Don't click on these. Click on the US version. Any of these, just click on it. Then you should get it installed. After you've installed it, go to the downloads option. And you want to take your Troll stop, like for me, it's here. You want to cut it use this option you want to cut it you want to you want to bring it to your data d or any other drive and put it anywhere make a new folder by clicking on show more options new folder and put that folder name as troll stop you then want to just paste it and you're done then you have troll stop here click it it should yes when you click yes it sh there should be like a pop up just click okay it's not it doesn't do anything and yeah that's it your that's how you install it and it should just pop up here so how to run it on start a boot you want to boot you want to go here you want to click on task scheduler task scheduler 
and you want to click on create basic task do not click on create task just click on create basic task when you click that what you want to do is you want to name it to like anything for me i'll just make it troll stop doodle stop i don't know stop you can name this anything i don't know then you want to do you want to go to uh, click on next you want to click on when i log on then click next start a program next you want to put your program so for me i put it on this pc data d total stop and then you want to click control stop so you want to click open then click next then what you want to do you have your description click on open the properties dialog when the class is finished you want to check this option then click finish now this should pop up what you want to do is you want to put this in run with highest privileges click, click on yes go to triggers that does nothing go to conditions uncheck both of these options uh, go to settings uncheck both of these options and you're done click ok and your task should be done now that's how you do it uh, time should be running well and you should probably get like a 50 to 100 more fps in end games and you should get more stable fps because your temps are much lower and you basically undervolted it so you can get more thingy by the way speed shift do not click on high performance if you have never optimized your PC before, so for me, as you can see, if I go to my power plan, power plan, I have an option for ultimate performance. But if you don't have this option, you can go ahead and you can click this. But I don't recommend you do so because there's no point, honestly. Don't don't click this option. I don't know why I said that, but just don't click that option. And that's all. Thank you, guys. Uh, thank you, guys. Take care. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. But um, there's also one thing uh, about go to options and you want to click on start with minimize, and minimize and minimize on close, right? That's all. You just want to copy these settings here, and yeah, you're done. Uh, click on OK, and you're done. When you close your total stop, it will still be running in the background. So yeah, do not click on turn on. By the way, this this will mess up things. So don't turn it on. So yeah, uh, that's it. Thank you guys. Take care.